Hi everyone. In last session, we studied the pressure exerted by the solid material. Right? Actually, the pressure is applicable for all states of matter. So, in this session, we are going to study about the pressure exerted by the fluid. What is fluid? Anything which can flow is known as fluid. So, liquids and gases are coming under the category of fluid. So, first, we are going to check out with the pressure exerted by liquids. Uh, we studied that solid exerts pressure on the area where it acts. Right? No? That means stress divided by area. But if we see in the case of fluid or liquid and gases, the pressure is exerted on the, we know that liquid we use to take it on the container. Right? No? So, the pressure is exerted on all direction of the container where it has taken. So, we will see a small experiment or activity to see how pressure exerted on all the direction. Here I have taken a bottle and I made some holes in different different positions. So, I am going to pour some colored water. We will see how the pressure will experience on the surface.
Now we will see the factors affecting the liquid pressure. First one, height of the liquid column. Height of liquid column. As the height increases, the pressure also increases. And the second factor is density of the liquid. Second one, density. Same way as the density of the liquid increases, the pressure exerted by the liquid increases. The liquid pressure increases with increase in length of the or height of the liquid column. That we will see through a small activity. We studied that according to the change in depth, the pressure exerted on the surface will be different. Here I have taken two bottles with different uh, water level and see how the balloons. So the one which I have more water exerts more pressure on the balloon and the other one it's not at inflated. So according to the change in the height or depth of the water level, the pressure exerting will be different. Same way, uh, the liquid pressure increases with increase in density. That also we will through, through, uh, see through a small activity. We studied that as the density of the liquid varies, the pressure changes. So here I have taken Wim, uh, the liquid dishwash and water. Equal amount of water I have taken in different bottles. Now you can see that how the pressure exerting. So uh, the Wim has more density. So it exert more pressure on the balloon comparing with this water. To discuss about the consequence or applications of uh, liquid pressure in our day to day life. Uh, if you go in, inside the sea water comparing with the river water, the density of the water is more, sea water is more because it's uh, contain more sodium chloride. So the pressure exerted by the sea water is more comparing with the normal river water. Now, uh, if we see in the case of dam, the dam which we use to um, build to uh, store water, no? in that place, the shape of the dam is made in such a way that it is the top of the water, this is the way how it has made. So, here we used to store water. Okay. The bottom part is made broader or thicker one comparing with the top one. We know the dam. Why we need dam? To store water. So, always the wall of the dam is made thicker at the bottom part like this way. It will be made thicker like this way. The reason is that and this side it will be filled with water. So, we know that as the depth increases, the pressure exerting on the wall will be more. So, to withstand with the liquid pressure at the bottom part, it made as a broader one or thick one. Do you have aquarium in your home or did you see the aquarium? So, we used to add the bubbles, right? When we uh, insert the uh, water inside that automatically you can see the bubbles will raise us up. Right? No? At the bottom place the bubbles will be very small. When it comes up the size of the bubbles will be increasing. Do you know the reason? The reason is also related with the liquid pressure. As it comes up the pressure is getting reduced. Right? Now when it is inside the water the depth is more the pressure exerted will be more. But as the uh, droplet or the bubbles comes up, the pressure is getting reduced. Same way in chemistry, you might have studied about Boyle's law, how pressure and volume is related. Both are inversely proportional. So, so as the pressure decreases, the volume of the bubble increases. So when it comes upon the surface, it having maximum size and in that time, only it exerted by the atmospheric pressure. So, that is the reason when the bubbles from the inside the water it will be very small. When it comes up, it will have a big size. So, these are some of the application or the consequence of liquid pressure in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you.